Hello, my royalty Israelite kings and queens. How everybody doing? All right, it's raining here where I'm at. I'm enjoying myself. I pray you enjoying yourself as well, especially my royalty Israelite Aquarius queen slash Batarak Rosie Jones. Now, with that being said, let us continue with the prophecies concerning Jacob and Esau, part six. Part six, my people. Okay, okay. The Jerusalem Targon, the, paraphrased it, the whole. And it shall be when the sons of Jacob attend to the law and observe the precept. They shall impose the yoke of servitude, of servitude, my people, upon thy neck, upon the neck of the Edomites, okay? But when they shall turn away themselves from studying the law, so we turn ourselves away from studying the law, my people, and that's how Esau got the upper hand, all right? That snake, that sibling snake got us, okay? We are supposed to always be studying the law, my people. All 12 tribes of Israel, that's what we're supposed to do, okay, okay? And neglect the precepts. We're not supposed to neglect the precepts either, my people, okay? Behold, then thou shalt shake off then they were able to shake off that yoke, people, okay? They were able to shake off the yoke of servitude that we had put on a ranty ass. Okay, okay, okay. Let me read this again. And it shall be when the sons of Jacob attends to the law and observe the precept, they shall impose the yoke of servitude up on thy neck. But when they shall turn away themselves from studying the law and neglect the precept, behold then shall, behold then thou shalt shake off the yoke of servitude from thy neck. Now that's what Esau did, all right? It was David who imposed it, the yoke, and at that time, the Jew people observed it, the law, but the yoke was very galling to the Edomites from the first and towards the latter end of Solomon's reign. Had it the Edomite of the blood raw who had been carried into Egypt in his childhood returned it into his own country and raised it some disturbance. First King chapter 9, but was not able to recover his throne. Verse 7, his subjects being overruled it, overruled it people by the garrison. Now they put overruled it, but they don't make no sense. So I should scratch that shit overruled it by the garrison which david king david who was over us 12 tribes of israel all right placed it among them but in the reign in the reign of in the reign of jehoram jehoram my people okay in the reign of jehoram the son of jehoshaphat king of Judah. So Jehoshaphat was king over Judah, all right, my tribe. The Edomites revoked it from under the dominion of Judah. So they revoked it under Judah, all right, and made themselves a king. So they made themselves a king, all right. Jehoram made some attempts to subdue them again, but could not prevail. So the Edomites revoked it from under the hand of Judah unto this day. Unto this day, all right, my people, says the author of the books of Chronicles. Second Chronicles chapter 21, verse 8, verse 10. 
and hereby this part of the prophecy was fulfilled. Okay, so that was fulfilled because they had us in slavery for 400 years, people. Okay, all right. And hereby this part of the prophecy was fulfilled about 900 years after it was delivered. All right, now I'm not too, uh, I'm not feeling that 900 years bullshit. All right, all right. Chapter 6, but in all spiritual gifts and graces, the younger should be greatly superior. So the younger is Jacob, all right, which is our father, should be greatly superior and be the happy instrument of conveying the blessing to all nations. Okay, so the blessing comes to us, to the rest of you rats, all right? Whether y'all like it or not, bow down. In thee and in thy seed, not speaking to us, all right? Our father Jacob. In thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And here too are to be referred in their full force those expressions let people serve thee so y'all supposed to be serving us okay if you want your damn blessing you better get to serving us people all right let people serve thee and nations bow down to you and you damn nation y'all better get to bowing down if you want to get anything good out of this you're going to serve us, and you're going to bow your funky asses down, whether you like it or not. So get on the good foot, all right? Now let me continue, all right? Let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Curse be everyone that curses thee. So that's how you be getting all that bad shit coming to you. You out there cursing us instead of bowing your raggedy ass down and serving us, all right? So you get what you ask for, people, all right? I ain't got no sympathy for you. All right, all right. Cursed be everyone that curses thee, and blessed be he that blesses thee. The same promise was made to Abraham. Abraham is our father, all right? In the name of God, our royalty Israelite, father only. I will bless them that bless thee. And curse him that cursed thee. Genesis chapter 12 verse 3. And it is here repeated to Jacob. Our fathers, all right? Another one of our fathers, people. And in the, paraphrased it in the verse 8. Jerusalem, Targon. He who curses thee shall be cursed. As Balaam, the son of Beth, and he who blessed it thee shall be blessed. You understand? So if you bless us, you get a blessing, people, okay? You curse us, your asses get cursed, okay, from the father himself. As Moses, the prophet, the lawgiver of Israel, it appears that Jacob was a man of moral religion and believed it the divine promise more than Esau. The prosperity of Jacob likewise, likewise, my people, preserved it, you understand? Preserved it, the true religion, and the worship of, of and, excuse me, the devil trying to tie my tongue, bow down. And, my people, okay? Now let's get this right. And served it the true religion and the worship of one God, who is our royalty Israelite father inland. While the Edomites were funky in, oh, excuse me, funky ass Edomites. <laughs> All right. While the Edomites were sunk in idolatry. In idolatry, my people, that's where they ass is suck at. 
and of the seed of Jacob was born at last the Savior of the world, which is our royalty Messiah, our royalty Israelite brother, Aisha. This was the peculiar privilege and advantage of Jacob to be the happy instrument of conveying these spiritual blessings to all nations, okay? This was his greatest, now this is, that was our greatest superiority, superiority people, okay, okay, over Esau. And in this sense, in this sense, my people, St. Paul, now you know they was calling those apostles saints back in the day. St. Paul understands and applies the prophecy. The elder, which was Esau, shall serve the younger, which is Jacob, our father. All right? Romans chapter 9, verse 12. Our royalty Messiah, our royalty Israelite brother, our Esau, the Savior of the world, was to be born of some one family. All right? So we know he was coming up out of the household of the 12 tribes. Out of Judah, to be exact. All right? All right. And... Jacob was preferred to Esau out of the good pleasure of the Almighty God, our royalty Israelite, Father Endless, who is certainly the best judge of fitness and expediency and had an undoubted right to dispense his favor as he shall see proper. So in other words, as he wanted to, people. Everybody else got to bow down to our royalty, Father. Endless. Including our asses. So bow your asses down. Bow down. For he said to Moses, as the apostles proceeded to argue, verse 15, I will have mercy. Now this is our royalty Israelite, Father. Endless speaking. I will have mercy as whom I will have mercy. You understand? I will have mercy on, excuse me, my people, whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. In other words, he said, kiss his ass. He's going to do what he want to do, whether you like it or not. Bow down. And when the Gentiles were converted to Christianity. Now, this is when they finna start lying and try to hide that stanky-ass Esau, people. Pay close attention, all right? And when the Gentiles, those rats, were converted to Christianity, well, they were converted to the fake-ass Christianity, not the real, okay? The prophecy was fulfilled it literally. That's a lie. Let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee and will more amply be fulfilled when the fullness of the Gentiles shall come in and all Israel shall be saved. Now they lying there, people, because they ain't done none of those things yet. Okay, those things are yet to happen. We have traced the accompaniment of the prophecy from the beginning, and we find that the nations of Eden, that the nation of Eden had at severe, severe time being conquered by and they tribute tributary to the Jews, but never the nation of the Jews to the Edomites. That's the lie. We just got down with 400 years of slavery, all right? And the Jews have been the more considerable people, more known in the world, and more famous in history. Well, that's because we're the important seed, all right? We know indeed little more of the history of the Edomites than as it is connected with that of the Jews. And where is the name or the nation now? They right here doing their dirty shit still. All right, y'all trying to hide them, bow down. They were swallowed up, bullshit, that's a lie. Swallowed up and lost. Partly among, now they lying up through their teeth here, people. Now vote in, partly through now vote in Arabia. And partly through the Jews. Bullshit lie. And the very name was abolished and disused it about the end of the first century after our brother, our Messiah, Aisha. That, that's a lie, people. Duh, were they rewarded 
for insulting and oppressing their brethren, the Jews, and hereby other 